Hey guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new karibu sana in today's video i want to share with you a cleaning motivation video laundry motivation cooking motivation we'll be cooking kenyeji veggies and chicken pilau so without further ado let's get into the video One of you asked how I wash my shoes in the washing machine and this is how I do it. I remove any mud or dust from the shoes first using a hand brush and then I load the shoes with my floor mats in the same load and the mats help in balancing the load like the drum won't move a lot. And then for the soap I just use normal machine washing powder and vinegar instead of fabric softener and this helps in removing like any bad odor coming out from the shoes or the mats. For the machine settings, I use the mix load function and then I use cold water and the slowest RPM which is 600 and just start the machine. On the cleaning to-do list for the living room is change the throw pillow covers and vacuum the couch and the carpet. I was to do a load of the throw pillow covers and the throw blankets but I have so many loads in the lineup so that we'll have to wait for another day. I got these throw pillow covers a while back from Smart Lady Homes and I think it's time I add a new set because I really love changing the look of my house like every single week and I think like an olive green set or a pink set or a copper brown set would be really lovely.
this fabric refresher bottle i have like a diy fabric refresher and that is just like one part of fabric softener and two parts of water and when you spray this on your couch or your curtains it smells really nice For the bedroom, I want to change the bedding, vacuum the carpet, and then mop the floors and wipe the surfaces. That is all the cleaning I need to do in the bedroom for this week. For the inside of the toilet bowl, I use scoring powder and toilet cleaner to wash it. And then for the outside, in a spray bottle, I have a mixture of water, bleach, and disinfectant. I let that sit for about 20 minutes while I clean the rest of the house, and then I'm going to scrub it later. To clean my mirror, I'm going to use the Astonish window and glass cleaner. You can also use this for your TV or any other glass surface. If you don't have this, you can also use one part of water with one part of vinegar and wipe it down with a microfiber towel. And then for my sink, I'm going to use the toilet cleaner and the scoring powder. I always use hot water to mop my floors and I add hand washing powder and fabric softener just to make the water smell nice and then I'm using the bleach to disinfect the floors and this is the most affordable one in the market, it's the Msafi bleach. I'm 
after all that cleaning, the body is demanding for some delicious food. So I want to make ugali and bogea kenyeji. And the veggies I'm using is terere and managu or mchicha and mnavu for my peoples at the coast. Once the onions have sauteed, I added the tomatoes and then followed by the veggies immediately. And this is because the veggies were still very young or bado hazikwa zmekoma. So they were still soft. But if they were mature or tough, I would have boiled them first and then now started the frying process. And then I cover it and let it cook in low heat until like the veggies is halfway. Once your tomatoes are soft, go ahead and add in your cream. And for our cream is what we get when we boil milk like that. Top layer is what we skim and store in the freezer. And this is cream for like two weeks. But if you don't have this, you can also use cooking cream or just normal milk or even coconut milk. But it a slap. I also added two nor cubes and some salt, covered it and let it cook for a few minutes. <laughs> After a few minutes, the veggies were done and let me tell you, it was smelling so delicious. Like, look how creamy those veggies are. So you don't have to use like excess cream like we did because I realized later on that we used too much cream, but it still worked because it slapped. So I just set this aside and then started making the ugali. Comment down below, do you cook ugali first or do you cook veggies first? Because for us, I like hot ugali spendy like ugali and yemeva koti <laughs> after a few minutes our ugali or simalaini is ready so i just served it up but when i was cleaning these veggies sean came up to me and he's like mommy what are you cooking i told him ugali and boga he smelled the boga and then he's like i don't like this food it smells so bad but after i served him his food in the middle of eating he's like Mami wapi nyama yangu, sijapata, sijapata nyama. Like, these veggies were that good. Like, Adim Toi, anatafta nyama, and yet there was none. You can also use any type of soft veggies, like mrenda or kunde, and it will still be delicious. And to take it to the next level, add, like, pieces of meat or matumbo, and your family will be requesting for this meal every single week.
So to my cooler, to my Shiba, and I forgot I had not made the bed. So I wanted to share like one of the methods that I cover my duvet with a duvet cover. And this is the rolling method. And I think it's self-explanatory from the video. And let me tell you, if you're doing this alone, it's very easy if you have a small bed. But if you have a big bed, just do it, the two of you. It's much easier. Been in and out my mind since I hit your phone. I've been counting up the times that I did you wrong. I just want you by my side when I get real gone. Feel it's been a little while since we got along. Yeah, we've been playing stupid games. The situation rotates, and they say communication save relations. Okay, medicated how I'm patient, wasting time ain't the way. Cause I can see it on your face. I've been tossing, turning, staying up on. Since you're going to bed anyway, I'm not going to put the throw pillows on the bed, but I'll show you how I do that the next morning. So this day Sean didn't go to school, he didn't sleep quite well the previous night, he was coughing the whole of the night, so we just took him to the hospital and he was given this medication and it was just a chill day for the both of us. Treated like amnesia, you know I always forget. Stirring the pot real hot, watch how the plot thickens. Around the clock, tick tock, need more than 20 seconds to get your attention before it's on to the next thing. And I'm over here again wondering, can I hold ya? Hear your truth, pull you closer, talk it through. Girl, you know that I'm the one that you can come and complain to. Your silhouette's amazing, but your brain is amazed too. So can you help me find my way while I find something to say? I know the arguing just augments everything going back. But baby, I can see it on your face. Up and tossing, turning. So I decided to do a lot of our bedding, and I always mix like our bedding and towels if the load is not full. But for this week, it was full, so I just decided to do it separately. So for our bedding, I wash them in normal machine powder and then stay soft, and then for the temperature i use 60 degrees but if they are whites you can use like 90 degrees and then for the spin i chose 1200 and then i just started the machine I finished the last drops of the previous fabric conditioner uh, in the bedding load cycle. So I wanted to mix in this new sweet elegance. And I know you're not supposed to mix it with water, but in the current economy, we are going to do what works for us, okay? Plus, we're already dangerous criminals. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? So let me tell you, the lavender cam smells good, but the sweet elegance is where it's at. It smells mwah, amazing. I'm going to lift my right leg up and lower. So really focusing on the core here. In the afternoon, I wanted to go for tennis, but the weather outside did not allow. So 
So I opted for an indoor workout and I went with this one from Madrid. It was like a 15 minutes abs workout and it was just fine for me. Tell me, baby, what's the problem? Cause I keep trying to figure it out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tell me, baby, what's the problem? I'm only picking up what you're putting down. You'll be tripping out on what about. So what's the problem right now? Throw away the city lights. Throw away the cars. for dinner i want to make one of sean's comfort food which is pilau and today i'm making chicken pilau this is a recipe that I use when I'm in a hurry and it's not the Swahili recipe that I follow. And also on the side, I'm going to make kachumbari and some pilipili of kaanga. For the pilipili of kanga, I'm frying uh, hohos or capsicum in the mixture that I had removed from the pilau. And then I add the tomatoes and chili puree and cover it and let it cook. Also, please open the windows or the doors in your house because the fumes that come from this can make you choke. Once all the water had kind of dried up in the pilau, I transferred it to the lowest heat and continued cooking my pili pili. I added tomato paste, cooking oil and lemon juice and then I let it cook for like a few minutes and it was ready. I 
I went to take a quick shower and by the time I was done, the pillow was also done. Get you, get you, get you on your knees. Rewrite all the things you said that I should be. I'll get you, get you, get you now. You'll beg me, please. Hey. Now I'll stay away. You were never meant to save me. Now I'll stay away. I don't hear you say you're sorry. I made some kachumbari offline and that's what I'm adding here and our food was ready. Oh my god, it was so delicious. This is the next day. The weather has been so bad. Like it's rainy, misty, foggy. And on days like this is when I thank God I must stay at home, mom. So I had fundies over. They were making a drain in the balcony. And since it was so cold, I decided to make for them a cup of uji. I always fold the week's laundry in one day. So this was our clothes, mine and my partner's without uh, the bed sheets, the towels and Sean's clothes. And then I went to the sitting room to watch this new movie in... Uh, Netflix, it's called Lobola Man. So the price can come down. And that's where I come in. So this is me enjoying my brunch. And that is like leftover pilau and a slice of bread. So we have finally come to the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below on what you think about it. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. It's absolutely free. And it's a way of supporting my channel and my content. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on my next one. Bye.